Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Last time we did Sunny Villa, I think that's what it's called, and got every single gem and egg. This time we're going to go to Cloud Spires and see what the hell this level has to offer us. Um, I gotta say, coming back to Spyro 3, this has been probably the most fun I've had Let's Playing in a long time. I have like a top five games I always wanted to Let's Play, and the Spyro Trilogy was one of them. Spyro 3 specifically, but... We can add the whole trilogy in there. And Spyro Reignited coming out was the best excuse I could have ever gotten. Because I'm always afraid to do this because I'm not quite at the level I want to be at yet. But it, it gave me the confidence I needed to play this game and I love it. I absolutely love it. So we got some new enemies here. Got some gems just lying around. Luckily there's no grass here so maybe that means it'll be easier to find uh, gems. So what about you? What do you got? Uh, you got a wind attack. Interesting. Easy to jump over but still cool for you you got a wind attack uh i guess you're the lady of the world what's up or guy what are you what are you talk to me well i have to go all the way over there for you to talk to me hi your name's nimbus <laughs> oh man nimbus i missed the flying cloud oh that's such a good reference they actually know dbz insomniac games you guys are cool Oh, it's probably not DVZ, but Nimbus probably actually means a cloud in, like, folklore or something, or some shit. Yeah, I could glide across there, no problem. Watch me. I'm a freaking super strong dragon. What about? Wow, these enemies are cool. They have Thor's lightning? Or not Thor, well, it could be Thor, but they have Odin's lightning? That's freaking awesome. Or Zeus's, I don't know. What kind of folklore are we getting into here? But that's an awesome thing. They got metal shields, so I can't set them on fire. Very smart to have that. And they have the lightning as a weapon amazing i'm already like oh shit 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 i'm already liking this level more and more look at that look at those sneaky gems they try to hide in here let me go over here man this cloud level looks awesome i love it we're above the clouds we're in a city above the clouds it's great and there's no Nero here to fuck with us it's amazing no downsides the metal armor, those yeah don't worry i just told everybody zoe but thank you anyway still great to hear your voice I don't know who they got to do her voice, but good job. She has a nice little voice. As a fairy should. Unless, well, unless you want to go the, with a deep, booming voice. That's also super funny, and you should do it. Do it. Okay, there's some hidden gems down here. Let's go ahead and collect them. There we go. Can't even say Spyro is a hidden gem. This game's way too well known. Let's go over here. What's up, guy? I wanted to give him a chance, but... It's weird that his gold armor can't defend himself from my flames. Even though holding a shield shouldn't defend you from Spyro's flames. It, it should kill you. Because you're holding metal that's on fire. It's burning. You can't hold a burning shield. That would kill you. Unless you have, like, a leather armband to hold it with. But then again, you can't hold a wooden shield very hard with that. You would end up dropping it or it would rip off if I run into you. Eh, whatever. These guys will learn the hard way of what I'm going to do to them. Like this guy over here with his freaking wind powers trying to stop me from getting the egg. Your pathetic enemy. So the big enemies in the first area, the sunny villa, they freaking kill you. Like, it's super hard to activate the eggs, uh, Reignited Trilogy creators, whoever made this game. Uh, you need to fix that. And maybe you did, maybe I just haven't downloaded the update or something, but y you know, it's a little bit awkward. You need to, you need to work on that one. Still a good game, guys. Still a good game. Yeah, let's go ahead and activate that. Yep, that was for that. Oh, my favorite son of a bitch. What's up? Well, well. If it isn't my favorite dragon, You could take a hit. I'll give you that money back. Sheila should have killed you in the first episode. Fellows. However, I might look the other way if I was distracted. Counting gems. Well, aren't you a fucking businessman? Here, take my money. Oh, yes. Precious, precious gems. Well then, Spyro, you may now use the bellows anytime you wish. Best of luck on your little egg hunt. Thank you. Thank you, Moneybags. Burn. Hey, in this game, I can actually hurt him. In the first game, or in the second game, he's actually pretty tanky. He takes the hits like a man. In this game, no. In this game, he's weaker, which is good. I need him to remember the pain. Hey, what's up, buddy? Wabam. <laughs> They're so weak. I love it. Hey, what's up? You want me to tell me how to press triangle? Yeah, I got it. Thank you for the reminder, but I got it. I'm just going to do that, that, and look at that. I don't have to press triangle because I ran jump. Bam, bam, thank you, man. It's like they got some gems hiding in the corners here. I'm going to do some loopy loops. Try to find them all. Yep, look at that. Hiding in the corners. Freaking video game creators and their sneaky business. I'm going to come over here because I don't think you can throw me if I'm up here. Yeah, whatever. 
I don't know how that flame didn't hit you, but at least you're dead now. So let's go ahead and collect this gem, and wha-bam, wha-bam. Look at that, it feels so good to get these easy kills. Um, got some more gems over here, and what's up? Oh, you activated the bellows. Maybe I can get the cloud generator working again. Oh, really, Fluffy? That's all you guys needed? Hey, there was an egg jammed in there. That was nice, but not gonna lie, in Spyro 3 on the PlayStation 1, it actually looked cooler when you activated that. No offense to you guys that reignited that reignited this game, it's still still nice. Yeah, he's so excited. Good to see you, hun Henry. So we got a bonus world right there that we'll probably go to soon enough. But, since we activated the bellows, all of these things have opened up to us now. And these things will take us to gems we couldn't get to before. Such as this extra world. Here we go. We usually wake up our rain cloud at the crack of dawn, but these mischievous spirits are stopping our bells from ringing. All right, don't worry, I got this. We have the super fly power up, and uh, we have our flame attack to stop. Oh fuck! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, my bad, guys. Let me try this again. And we have. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay, a little bit harder to control than I remember. Look at that. Come on, you go flying in this game. Let me try this again. Just like that. Flame. If you don't kill them in succession, they will respawn. So, don't miss a single one, guys. It gets annoying. There we go. One more. We just need one more bell to ring. There we go. Hey, he woke up. Your eyes terrify me. And now it's raining. Beautiful. Do you want this doodad? Yeah, I do want this doodad because it's my... Oh, it's me! Hey, what's up, Jake? Aw. I look disgusting. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Thank you for the freaking baby, I guess. I don't think people really want those as gifts, but I'll take it. Um, Spyro is a different kind of guy. I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and get as many gems as they are hiding. Because you know they're hiding gems here, guys. In between stuff, around stuff, you gotta look around. You never know where they're gonna... Oh, there it is. Never know exactly where they're going to be hiding them. And right here, you can find... No, nothing. Oh, there's the Yug Thief. Come here, you piece of shit. Oh, first gems, gems. Control yourself, Coop, or Jacob, whatever I call myself. Control yourself. We don't want to... We don't want to get a little angry. You get a little angry, people get hurt. You don't want to hurt nobody. All right, let's see you, you piece of shit. Get over here. I can chase you. You think you're fast, but you're not faster than Spyro. Uh, look at that. Yeah, 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 screw you. You know what, you might actually be faster than Spyro now that I think about it. I might need to cut you off, like, right here. Ah, oh, fuck. I had him. So in this game, they don't have stopping points. They have cutoff points that you can find them at. So see, this is a cutoff point. Ryan. But with a Y. Interesting. Hey, and you're a smarty, aren't you? Oh, nope, you just hit your head. You're probably not very smart. Sorry, the glasses were, uh, the glasses were misleading. Well, whatever. Let's use our super flight and get those gems. Because right under the cloud, there are some gems. And you don't want to miss these. They're easy to miss when you don't think about them. Right there, right there. And if I missed a single gem in this area, it's going to become the bane of my existence to come back here. So I'm going to go over here. And down we go. Now that we're back here, I can go throughout the rest of the level and use these, uh... Yep, there it is. These sparklies. And these sparklies will take us to the newer areas. Okay. Took us here. Did I, did I do that? Oh, that takes you back up there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do it again. Alright. Good for you. And, whoa, not gonna happen. Good for you. Because there's sparklies over here. And we're gonna go through the whole world trying to find these sparklies to get us back up there. And yes, their names are sparklies. Look in the official guide. No, but forget it. We're gonna get these gems. Get this. Get this. Ay, 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 ay. Why am I going so fast? I don't even need to be going this fast. Uh, screw that guy. Eh, these guys too. Come here. I saw that gem I missed. Don't worry. Oh, shit! Oh, I dodged his lightning attack. Hell yeah. When you're holding lightning, you should really throw it. Using it as a sword, as badass as that sounds, is probably not its optimal, optimal use. Ranged weapons usually have an advantage. Ah, burn me. it burned my ass. I'm okay, but it burned me. Alright, let's go over here. Triangle at the end. Look at that. We already got all these freaking people. We got Claire, but spelled really weirdly. 
Oh, that's a cool little power you got there. That was a different dragon. Nice. And we got that gem. All right, we got everything we needed that I remember. So let's go to the bonus world now. And let's get there quickly. Into the bonus. And these bonus worlds don't have any loading screens, which is amazing. In the old game, they had loading screens. Our sun has gone out. We can make a new one with our lava fusion cauldron and three sun seeds. But they keep burning out before we can get them in the pot. All right, don't worry. I got you, buddy. Step on the switch to get a frick. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what to do. But first things first, let's uh, collect all the gems because, you know, helping out the sun seeds means nothing to me. If it means I don't get all the money involved, if I don't get to collect all the money involved. So we're going to get all this money and then we're going to be doing this sun seed adventure bullshit they want us to do. Which it probably isn't bullshit. It probably is important that they don't have a sun and are probably imminent. They're, they're going to die soon without it. We wouldn't live with a sun without a sun, people. Especially since if our sun doesn't exist, it's not because it disappeared, it's because it blew up. And it will take us with us. It will take it with us. Us with them? With it. Take us with it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> take us with us. That made sense. No. It will take us with it, which is bad. For us. Maybe. Could be fun. We'll find out. Alright, there we go. So you want to keep burning the sun and keep moving it along. It doesn't matter where you burn it, just make sure you hit it with fire. And then, when it gets close, the sun seed will jump into the cauldron. And it'll be permanently on fire. If you don't cap catch up with it, though, it becomes problematic, because it'll start screaming at you. Alright, alright. You're kind of slow in this game. In the other game, you're faster. I mean, I'm glad because, you know, it makes it easier, but... I'm also mad because it makes it easier. And some guy said this game was difficult. Which I'm starting to get up more and more upset about. Because this game is, like, the, la the last thing this game is, is difficult. All right. It feels like I got all the gems. Where the hell did I, did I miss a gem again? I missed a single gem. I keep doing that in every single goddamn level. I miss a single gem. And it means I'm going to have to go back and forth and look all around just to find that one gem I happen to not find. Oh, there he is. Ah, he was about to start screaming. Oh, he's he doesn't scream in this game? No. Do it. Scream. That's not the screaming I want. In the old game, he used to go, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it was so cool. That's that's so lame that he doesn't do it anymore. You know what? I'm going to live with it. It's still a fun game. It's just, it's not, well, damn it. You don't know what Spyro, you don't know what made Spyro 3 good, did you? Freaking reignited people. You're messing up very, very badly, but it's okay. I'll live with it. It's still fun to play. Now that's what I call a sun. Here, you can have this last sun seed as a souvenir. Think it might be a dead though. Really? This looked like a sun seed to you. Oh, it's Lulu! Hey! Good little support there. Ew. All these babies are actually disgusting. Hair hey, right. Whatever. In the old game they look cute, this game they look disgusting. What are you gonna do about it? Not a damn thing. So we missed a five gem somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick search around here. If I don't find it, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me look for it. I'm just gonna go back and I'll come back and get it myself. Because that just sounds awful. Like, hey guys, I missed a 5 gem. Have fun. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright. Look at that. We found it all. Now we can leave this area and go to the next. Jump. Screw you, buddy. Jump. And jump into the return home. Alright, that felt good. That felt good to help people. As you can see, though, this game doesn't have cutscenes at the beginning or the end of each level, which I kind of like that Spyro 2 did that. But this game does have cutscenes in the open world, like when Bianca, in the last episode, when Bianca was just out of nowhere uh, watching us from the corner and then attacked Hunter. And then we attacked her back. It was okay. We got a little little equality in there. Flamed her ass. All right. But there's no cutscene this time. So we're now going to the next world. And the next world is something you actually need to unlock. You need 10 eggs to unlock this place. But we have way more than 10, so we should be good. Right? At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Of course I'm going to visit you at the Tiki Lodge, buddy. Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's have fun. So, we're going to go to the Tiki Lodge now. This will be probably for little, little kids if you're playing this game. And wa don't watch me if you're a little kid. I, I, I curse a lot. It's not a good thing. Don't do it. Don't do it. It doesn't make you sound more grown up. It makes you sound more like a kid, okay? With friends, I curse a lot. With you guys, I curse a lot. Among other people, I do not. That's just not what you do. Uh, but if you are watching this, this is probably where the game, the game starts getting a little more difficult for you because you can't collect everything here. 
You just can't. There's something stopping you. And it's not this lockbox with a key. Although that is a factor. Oh, wow, that... What the hell? What happened to the camera? Guys, what happened to the camera? Guys, I can't see. Oh, thank God. I fixed the camera. Um, people that made Reignite Trilogy, did you cheap out on Spyro 3? This is the first time I'm running into glitches and shit. And, um... Oh my God. I can't play the game. I'm getting killed. I'm getting killed off screen. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna get upset. My favorite game just happens to have a camera glitch that completely breaks it. I'm not, I'm not gonna get upset. But what the fuck are you guys doing? This is my favorite game. The other two games were made perfectly. They look great. This one you, 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 you cheaped out on? Is that what you're telling me? You. I'm taking out my anger on you guys now. That's, that, that's what's gonna happen. Alright, don't, don't, don't break the camera. Don't break the camera. Okay. It didn't break the camera. I feel good now. Screw this guy. Screw this guy. Screw this guy. <sighs> Whatever. You all saw that, though. That was real. The camera does break in this game. Alright, what are you gonna do? Attack me? Cowards. Can't even do shit. Go ahead and get this. Ooh, a little flower. I think that's a skill point is to destroy the flowers here, but I'm not going to do that. that. Sounds boring as hell. Alright, you have a freaking whip? What the hell kind of person are you to have a whip? Lava slugs? Oh, it's slugma! That I can kind of glitch around. Die. Yeah, give me a life. I deserve that life. I lost a life through bullshit. Indiana Jones, get out of here. That's basically what you're based off of. You had a perfect opportunity to attack me and you didn't. So I thank you. Alright. Oh, and there's a hidden gen or hidden egg over here. Ricky! Ah, oh, Ricky, you're gonna be a fun guy when you grow up, aren't you? So let's go ahead and go over here. There's more of those tulips that you can destroy. I don't know if they're actually tulips. I don't know freaking plants. Our friend Sit Lolly does, the person who makes a lot of the art for this channel, but uh, not me. Alright, what do you have to say? Yeah, I know to keep him healthy. Thank you. Healthy Sparks is yellow, Injured Sparks is blue, About to Die Sparks is red, and No Sparks is going to make the game hard because then you die in one hit. So don't let Sparks die, guys. Plus, he's the one that picks up the gems from a distance, so if you don't have them, you have to touch gems. And that just sounds awful. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Alright, got that done. Got that done. There's a freaking guy over there, but I feel like going over here first. Yeah, gotta be careful with the Molten Lava, though. Even though I'm a dragon, I can't touch it. Bowser, he can fucking swim in it. But us, no. He's a Koopa. Koopas are a little stronger than dragons, apparently. So now we're gonna jump up here. And we all we already made it to the guy. What's up? Here, take this egg. They were giving them away at the Tiki Lodge last night. Really? So you guys have my children? Hey, Curly! Oh, Curly. Oh, that's so cute! Curly, I take it back, you're adorable. I thought you were sick. Like, his face looked like you had, like, a sickness, but he's okay. There we go. Like, he looked like he had the cold or something, and that just makes me sad. I don't want to see sick dragons. That make me sad. All right, so let's get this over here. Get a 5, 5, 10. Obviously, like I said, you cannot 100% this level on your first time through. In Spyro 3, there is no way to 100% every level. It's just like Spyro 2 all over again. So let's kill this, and this is the reason why. Sergeant Bird is currently on an important mission to the inside of a cage. Tough luck, the sorceress. So, once you free that squad member, you can come back here and you will be able to uh, do your shit. But until then, yeah, you can't do anything with him. I'll go back to money bags, but I know there was something down here. And there's something over there. One second, let me do this. Let me do this. Uh, run, do, jump. Hey, there's the key. Run, jump, and there's that. And run, jump, there. Don't worry, moneybags. I'm coming for you right now. I just need to do this real quick. The Tiki Lodge is almost done. I want to unlock this key, or unlock this chest with this key, and uh, get on my way. Speaking of unlocking, though, guys, I don't know when this uh, episode will exactly go up, but in 2019, I want to make an announcement. We will be starting our next Rivals Edition series for Pokemon. Uh, if you haven't caught the Rival Edition series, what it is is basically every episode of... Um, of the Pokemon Let's Play, at the end of the episode, there will be a rival battle between real humans, me, my friends, or them with each other, and we continue to battle over, and you get to see our teams grow along the storyline, and, uh, you know, 
after you see them grow all the way up to becoming a champion once we're champions we throw a big tournament at the end it's a lot of fun and i hope you guys check it out it's pretty cool plus we also i also just made a twitter account so that if you guys want to see when the videos come out or if there's any updates coming up uh you can go on the twitter follow that it'll be easy but you don't have to it's not it's not mandatory what's up stony because I saw a shifty looking character with one over there. All right. You know, you're kind of a shifty looking character yourself. But you're resistant to fire, so I respect you. Only because I can't kill you. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do that. Ay, yeah, yeah. Don't kill yourself doing that. And wow, we already passed a thousand gems again. We lost that when we freed Sheila. But now we're back. Nice. Very nice. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do this. Got another lockbox here, it seems. Or not a lockbox, that just looked like a reinforced chest. So let's go over here. You gotta collect all the gems, guys. You know how I am. I've got an OCD with these things. It feels good to get them, though, because you're collecting money. That eventually, you have to give the money bags and screw them. As you can see, there's no key on this one. In this game, there's no confusion. This cannot be, uh, this cannot be opened with a key. You have to find a way to do, open it up. And I can show you how. Right here. Look. You see this? This remind you of Spyro 2 and 1? It should, because that's how you open up the chest. Watch. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. I went the wrong way. Once you run on this thing... Oh, wait. First, let's do this. First, get this guy. This thing isn't actually activated yet. It just looks like it. So, this guy, he's pretty quick. You know, he's he's, he's, he's got the he's got his freaking Jordans on. That's not bad. Eventually, I'm going to have to stop him, but don't worry. You got to respect him for his speed at the moment. Alright. Oh, it takes too long to fly. Make sure you're only charging. So to catch up to the Egg Thieves in this game, it's a little bit harder. They made them a little bit faster, but you do eventually catch up. Just don't let go of the square button. If you let go of the square button, you'll eventually fall behind. And remember to time your circle button to win, like, the perfect timing. So let's go here. Almost got him. This is the run that I'm going to get him, guys. I promise you. Because I'm not bad at this game. I promise. I can do it. Right here. Right on this corner. There it is. Yeah, Moira. Man, I missed the Resident Evil list, but that was fun. That's Moira. Aw, oh, you're adorable. I love these babies. These babies are cool. Right. There goes another one. He was really fast. Maybe if I activate the supercharge, you'll be able to catch Yeah, can you activate that for me, please? I'd really appreciate it, Stony. Alright, so now we have a red thief, and these thieves are freaking crazy when it comes to speed. Like, it is gonna be a bitch to catch this guy. So let's see if we can do it. The supercharge does get stronger the longer you're on it, so just be careful. Like I think we're at full power right now. And oh my god, just be careful. I think I'm, I'm overtaking him. If I turn around, he's probably right behind me. But I don't want to stop. I can't stop. I, I can't stop, won't stop, and I stopped. Where the hell is he? I feel like I jumped so far that I, I went clear over him. And now we gotta find him again. All right, where is he? Where is the bastard? I'm looking for you. I'm not seeing you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else now because I can't find you. I'm gonna destroy this thing. Hey, skill point! I didn't know that was a skill point. I kind of just knew about that. All right. Uh, oh, he's down here. All right, hey, I see you. I see you. That's another glitch. There's no way he should have been down there. That was a glitch. This is the glitch episode. I'm having a glitch episode. Spyro 3 Reignited. Ama or Spyro Reignited. Amazing. When it comes to Spyro 3, they took they did not take their time. And it's kind of obvious to see that. Making me a little upset, people that created this game. Or, yeah, that made this game. Insomnia Games took a lot of... Or didn't have a lot of time to work on this, but they still made a working product. But, whatever. I won't get too upset. At least that made the game easier when he glitched out. Even though that part wasn't exactly hard. But, damn, we did it, people. We got two levels 100%. Well, 100% to the point that we could done in this uh, episode. Uh, that's probably going to be the end of it, though. Next time, we're going to be moving on to the last level. Which is that water level that I showed in the first episode with, uh, I think his name was Snappy the Seal. He had a good, he had a little sailor suit on. I don't know if you remember him. Uh, we'll go talk to him and see if we can help him out. And after that, we can go and see what the hell happens. I don't know. I do know, but who cares? We're going to do shit. Uh, but that will be next time. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.